As we all know, our planet Earth has a moon which is considered as the brightest and largest object in the night sky. It makes the Earth a more livable planet by moderating our home planet's wobble on its axis, leading to a relatively stable climate. Like Earth, other planets in our solar system also have moons. In this video, we will be seeing how many moons each planet in our solar system has and what are the characteristics of their specific moons. First up, we have Mercury, the closest planet to the Sun. At this very moment, the distance between Mercury and the Sun is 53 million kilometers, and due to the revolution in its orbit, the farthest it goes from the Sun is 70 million kilometers. Due to this, Mercury has no moons. The planet's close proximity to the Sun makes having moons impossible, as the star's strong gravitational pull would likely pull them out of the planet's orbit. You might be wondering, if Mercury has no moons, then it might face some challenges, right? Well, this absence of a moon poses several challenges. One notable issue is the lack of gravitational assistance, hindering potential scientific missions and exploration. Additionally, without a moon, Mercury lacks a stabilizing influence on its rotation, resulting in significant temperature extremes between its day and night sides. The next planet in our solar system is Venus, which is also known as Earth's sister planet. Now, if that's what it's called, then it should have some similar characteristics like Earth, right? Well, the name is attached to Venus due to its similarity in mass and size compared to Earth. But the difference is that Venus has no moons. In our solar system, Mercury and Venus are the only two planets that do not have natural moons orbiting them. At 80% of the mass of the Earth, Venus's gravitational field would be more than strong enough to hold on to any moons. However, Venus is still significantly closer to the Sun than Earth, and the gravitational pull of the Sun would make it difficult for any moons to remain in orbit. Without a moon to stabilize its rotation, Venus has a slow and retrograde rotation, leading to extremely long days and nights. This prolonged exposure to sunlight contributes to the planet's intense surface temperatures. Additionally, a moon could have influenced Venus's atmosphere and climate dynamics, but the lack of one may have contributed to the extreme conditions, such as the thick and hot atmosphere caused by a runaway greenhouse effect. Next up, we have Mars, the fourth planet from the Sun. Mars has two moons, Phobos and Deimos. Both are thought to be captured asteroids, or debris from early in the formation of our solar system. Phobos is the larger of Mars' two moons. It orbits Mars three times a day, and is so close to the planet's surface that in some locations on Mars it cannot always be seen. Deimos, on the other hand, doesn't have a significant impact on the planet. It's small and far away, so it doesn't influence Mars' tides or rotation like Phobos does. Deimos mainly orbits Mars quietly without causing much change to the planet's dynamics. Its primary role is to be a distant moon in the Martian sky, providing a celestial companion along with Phobos. Moving on, we have Jupiter, the biggest planet in our solar system and the one with the second most number of moons. Jupiter has 95 moons that have been officially recognized by the International Astronomical Union. Now, each of Jupiter's moons has its own role. For instance, Io, one of Jupiter's moons, experiences intense tidal heating due to Jupiter's gravitational pull, leading to volcanic activity on its surface. Europa is believed to have a subsurface ocean, making it a target for potential extraterrestrial life exploration. Ganymede is the largest moon in our solar system and has a magnetic field. Jupiter's diverse moons contribute to our understanding of planetary processes, geology, and the potential for habitable environments beyond Earth. After Jupiter comes Saturn, the planet whose system teems with natural satellites, from planet-sized Titan to small oddballs, shaped like potatoes or ravioli. As of June 8, 2023, Saturn has 146 moons in its orbit. The moons range in size from larger than the planet Mercury, the giant moon Titan, to as small as a sports arena. Saturn's diverse moons contribute significantly to our understanding of planetary processes. Titan, the largest moon with its thick atmosphere and liquid methane lakes, 
provides insights into complex atmospheric chemistry. When Celadus, known for its erupting geysers and potential subsurface ocean, sparks interest in habitable environments. Mimas influences the structure of Saturn's rings, while Iapetus's two-tone appearance remains a mystery. Rhea, Saturn's second largest moon, aids in studying the planet's magnetosphere and Hyperion, with its irregular shape, adds to the fascinating dynamics of Saturn's moon system. Each moon plays a unique role in unraveling the mysteries of Saturn and the broader solar system. Now, we are only left with the last two planets in our solar system, Uranus and Neptune. Uranus has 27 known moons, including five major moons, Miranda, Ariel, Umbriel, Titania, and Oberon. The moons are sometimes called the literary moons because they are named for Shakespearean characters, along with a couple of the moons being named for characters from the works of Alexander Pope. Uranus, with its unique axis tilt and system of moons, presents an intriguing celestial environment. Its largest moon, Titania, and others like Oberon, Umbriel, Ariel, and Miranda contribute to the understanding of Uranian geology and formation processes. The moon's gravitational interactions with Uranus influence the planet's rotational dynamics and ring system. For instance, Miranda, with its varied terrains, provides clues about past geological activity. The diverse characteristics of Uranus's moons, from cratered surfaces to icy compositions, offer valuable insights into the outer reaches of our solar system and the complex interactions shaping this distant planetary system. Lastly, we have Neptune, which has 14 known moons, which are named for minor water deities in Greek mythology. By far the largest of them is Triton, discovered by William Lassell on October 10, 1846, 17 days after the discovery of Neptune itself. Neptune's extensive system of moons, including Triton, Proteus, Nereid, and others, serves various roles in elucidating the mysteries of this distant ice giant. Triton, Neptune's largest moon, is unique for its retrograde orbit and geysers spewing nitrogen gas, offering insights into past tidal interactions and potential cryovolcanism. Proteus, the second largest moon, influences Neptune's ring system and contributes to our understanding of satellite interactions. Nereid, with its irregular orbit, adds complexity to Neptune's moon system dynamics. Collectively, these moons provide valuable data on the planet's formation, gravitational interactions, and the unique conditions prevailing in the outer reaches of our solar system. That was it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.